Boom. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. My name is Liti Saka. If you're new here, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button, switch on your notifications and follow me on my journey. Probably yours too. But look, today I'm talking about something slightly different. I'm going to be talking about bed care. And the reason why I'm talking about bed care is I've had like a plethora of questions. i done a small thread on Twitter um, and also on my Instagram and you know, a lot of people, it was quite well received and a lot of people had again a lot of questions obviously you know i do this because i want more for my brothers in it i want more for you you understand me and while i may not have the biggest bed or even a bed that connects my bed feels soft and i want that for you too my brother um or anyone who has a bed um i think you know at our big ages we can't be walking around and you know your bed is making noises like you know, like, you're a big man. You, you can't be doing that. Like, are you not embarrassed? It's really embarrassing, you know? Shout out to Nella Rose because we don't do plagiarism. But look, I'm going to just jump into it. I'm going to keep it really quick, really short. Shouldn't really take that long at all. So, first thing when we think about, you know, bad oils is that a lot of people assume that their bad oils moisturise their bed which is factually incorrect. So one thing is that when we look at the word moisturizer and the words moisture, a lot of people somehow make this mistake and the two are not the same. They're both nouns. The words are not interlinked related in any way. A moisturizer obviously refers to a formulation, which many of us know, which is, you know, humectants, emollients and occlusives. And moisture actually refers to something being wet, damp, moist, right? So there's this assumption that when you use something that's considered a moisturizer um it makes stuff moist which is factually incorrect now what happens with a lot of bed oils is that a lot of people just put their bed oils onto their bed um and it's just an oil right and when we think about oils oils may be emollients but they are actually occlusives and occlusives do not hydrate anything what they do is actually lock in moisture are you following through so if there is no moisture in the first place that means that the oil is doing nothing it's essentially locking in nothing right so this is why your bed may look shiny to a certain extent it may feel a bit soft but it still makes that noise you feel me? So there are loads of different ways. When we think about hydration, you're typically thinking of your humectants, right? So aloe vera, uh, glycerin, hyaluronic acid. Obviously, when it comes to the bed, I'm not going to tell you to put in those products into your bed. Obviously, you could, um, but completely unnecessary. The easiest and fastest way to really kind of ensure that your bed is moist um, is just to wet it, right? Like most people recommend putting your bed oil right after the shower, you know, your bed is nice and clean, it's wet, it's damp, and you're able, after you kind of doing your skin routine, just to put it on, spread it through your palms, and rub it all through your bed. Simple as ABC. For best kind of results, people also say, you know, do it both morning and night, because again, once your face is wet, and you allow your bed to dry out, it just dries out and becomes brittle, right? So you really wanna make sure that you're using your oil, your bed oils, on high, your hydrated bed, um, both a.m. and p.m. That's if you have an a.m. and p.m. routine. If you're only washing your face once a day, which I personally don't advise, then it only makes sense for you to put it on once a day. So there are also other things in which, in other ways in which that you could do this. So for example, <clears throat> let's say you're going out, it's date night, you finished work, right? You obviously can't wash your face at work, but you know, you may feel like your bed it's struggling a bit. So like, for example, what I do and ignore the original bottle is that you can actually just wet it. So I use like these little small spray canisters and I'll show you now. Okay, there we go, it's, it's on. And if you don't have one of these, by the way, you don't need to get one, you can use your hand. The only thing I find with like using my hand is that, you know, you know, just make sure the water goes all the way through. Sorry, um, the only issue I find with using my hands is that I'm quite clumsy and it means that <clears throat> I over wet stuff. 
that sounded so wrong uh, when I thought about it in my head. I'm gonna leave this in. But yeah, so you just wanna make sure that you've wet it. And again, you may do this like, you know, in the morning as well. Like sometimes for me, for example, by the time I've finished cleaning the bathroom, done my skincare routine, my bed is dry. So I actually do use this in the morning. I just kind of spray it on. And really, you just want to grab your bed oil while it's, um, you know, your bed is nice and damp. You don't need that many drops. Uh, this is from Bando. Uh, it's a black owned company. And you really just want to rub your finger, hands together with the oil in it, heat it up. And you just want to apply. Now, what's really important is that you want to ensure that you are getting all the way to the skin. Obviously, with <laughs> my small uh, bed, it's very easy for me to penetrate the skin. But what a lot of people fail to understand is that when you're, you know, trying to in use bed oils to help grow your bed, you really want to make sure that it is penetrating the skin and creating an environment for hair to grow. Because while bed oils don't necessarily help your bed grow, as I said, they help create an environment which encourages growth. <clears throat> cool, so you just want to rub that in. Now, normally I use a wooden comb, but I broke my wooden comb trying to comb my hair with it. Don't, don't ask me why. But you just want to get like a small comb. There are a load of bare combs. Some of them don't necessarily have to be wooden. Um, you could use a wide range. And you just want to comb it through, right? And you could just see... Nice, soft, no resistance, just kind of melts through, right? And obviously I don't have that much of a bed. Obviously the longer your, or bigger that your bed, um, it may be slightly different, but you just want to do that. And what's really important is to kind of try and use the same comb all the time, because when you have the oil in the comb, it just helps ensure that it's reaching um, everywhere <clears throat> on your bed. Ooh, my bed feels nice, man. Look, I've, I've never had any complaints. It may not be the biggest bed, but hey, it does what it needs to do. But, um, so basically that's it. In terms of bed oils that I use, just to give you guys some context. So the one that I showed you is um, from, called the Bear Bando. So this is a black owned business. Um, I've been using it for a month now. It's actually quite good. One thing I will say is that it is fragranced. So it actually smells like Tom Ford. <clears throat> so another thing about bed oils, which makes them quite good, is that they have the fragrance element. Like I can say, I hugged someone and they were just like, woof, that you, like your chin smells amazing. And I was like, well, well, like, I mean, what can I say? But this is actually really good. Um, it has, I think, has castor oil, vitamin C, quite good. I haven't reacted to it. Sometimes I do react to fragrances, but this has actually been quite good um i'll put the link down in the bottom i think it's black owned so i don't necessarily think they have a website i think they shop through an instagram page now what i use in the night is bed influence now they had this um bed oil which is specifically for nighttime use and as i said if you're someone who has an am and pm routine you want to ensure that you're using your bed oils both in the am and pm this one is specifically suited for pm use um i've actually really enjoyed this if how much like despite my small bed um i've used it through um and i've had this for like maybe two to three months this one's actually really good and what i have seen is like these places where i traditionally didn't have hair it has helped kind of promote not grow help promote um hair growth in that area again i'll put down the link this is also a black owned business um yeah it's generally quite good last on the list is bad norwegian this is a commercial brand. Um, I think you can actually find them on Cult Beauty. I got sent this like last year when I didn't have no bed. So really we just kind of used to stare at each other because there was nothing for either one of us there. But um, this is actually really interesting because it's not scented, it has no parabens, it has no artificial fragrances. Um, and I use this interchangeably with the bad, 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 bad bando. Um, 
And you know what? It's actually quite good. One thing I will say is that you, once you start to use various different bed oils, you start to realise um, they have different consistencies. Like arguably an oil is an oil, but some oils are lighter and thicker than others. One thing I will say about this is that this is actually quite thick. <clears throat> now, while that hasn't, you know, presented any issues for me, if you are someone who is quite, you know, concerned about your pores underneath your bed clogging up, then you may want to avoid it. But other than that, it's actually been quite good. So, like I said, that was going to be a short and sweet one. My brothers or anyone who has a bed, like I said, this is for you. No more of that life. Um, and generally, just wish you all the best. Like, like I said, if you are not subscribing, hit that subscribe button, switch on your notifications. And I guess just follow me on your journey. I'm trying to reach 10k before 2021. Make it happen for your boy. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. And... May the force be with you. Cut!